YouTube, what's good? We're back in this thing. Today we're gonna be going over this freeze frame transition that I saw Wilco Visuals do. If you guys don't know who that is, we did a effect breakdown in one of his effects on the Fredo Bing video. It's where it slides. So if you like this transition, you'll probably like that video. So I'll have that link below. I'll also have Wilco Visuals Instagram link below. Definitely go follow him. Really talented editor. The effect we're going over is like a freeze frame where the subject slides up with some motion blur and then the background like folds out behind him almost. I saw it because Wilco posted on his story uh, with the coochie man. Uh, he did edit for him. It's just a little teaser, but I think we'll break it down because I, all I need is just a little bit of Instagram clip. We can break down an effect off that. Before we get into the video, be sure to follow my Instagram, my Twitch, and my TikTok. I just started TikTok. Starting to get a little traction on there, actually. It's really crazy, like, what you can do organically on that app. Oh, also, before we get into it, be sure to subscribe because most people that watch me are actually not subscribed. I'll let that pop up, but yeah, just click subscribe if you like music videos and editing them because I have a bunch of tutorials on my channel. All right, so the effect we're going over is this slide up and fold out transition. You can see it's real quick, so we'll kind of break it down here. Subject slides up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six, seven frames-ish. He holds for two for two or three frames here and then has the background slide out. Uh, I did a test example, kind of do whatever, but I actually had the background start coming out at like almost as soon as a uh, snot comes up, one frame after. I just thought it looked a little bit more fluid. Uh, both ways look really cool. It's just whatever you're into. If you want a more of a like stop and like kind of have that effect, you can just have it hold for like three frames. Or if you want something like mine, you can do one frame or you can even do zero frames where it, it, he's still sliding up and the background's unfolding behind him. It's a pretty cool effect. I'll show you guys how to do this. So all you really need is two clips and you just need to duplicate one layer. And then I'm going to go ahead here and type in crop and drag that onto the top layer. Also going to add a frame hold. So click add frame hold, and then you can go to the effects control and just mask out your subject. The better you do, obviously the better it'll look. Uh, since there's motion blur, it doesn't matter too much, but definitely try to make it look as good as possible. And a lot of people ask like, if you can do something like this in After Effects, and the answer is yes, you can even do something where you rotoscope, so like the subject can, could be moving while you do something like this. That'd be a kind of a cool twist on the effect. Could even just do it in After Effects with the pen tool and basically the same exact effects. So just keep that in mind. You don't have to do it in Premiere. It's a pretty simple effect. Like if you're also in Final Cut, I'm sure they have something similar to like this crop tool and uh, frame hold. So I'm sure you can do it in pretty much any uh, visual program. While I'm doing this, I also wanna say like, Thank you guys for all the support uh, this last month and then going into 2021. Like it's crazy thinking that I'm gonna be able to like do YouTube and like digital assets and music videos like full time, which is a blessing for sure. So I'm definitely gonna take you guys along with the journey and everything that I do and like kind of just share my experience. All right, so now that we got it's not cropped out here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off that background layer. So when we go to, you can just drag one of these all the way and then you can see your subject is masked out. And then just go ahead and click invert and you can see your subject. Obviously I didn't do the best job. You can feather it more if you want. You can do mask expansion, which just brings it in a little bit. So I think I'm gonna do that just a tad, kind of get rid of the white on the outside. And then I'm also just gonna turn off the uh, feather because I think it looks cleaner without the feather. And then what I'm gonna do is go ahead and duplicate this layer one more time actually delete the crop here. Then I'm gonna go 10 frames to the left. So if you hold shift and then go, if you just click there with shift held, it will bring you back five instead. So do it twice and go to 10. And then I'm gonna drag the crop layer with the mask hold or with the frame hold 10 frames out and then frozen frame version without the mask, uh, five frames. And you can just cut those right there. And then we're going to go ahead and add some movement to the subject itself. So there's two ways you can do this. You can add motion blur and move it yourself, or you can go to the transform tool, which is what I'm gonna do. And you can drag that onto there, or the transform effect, my bad. Drag the shutter angle up all the way or whatever you want, and then just move the position. And I'm gonna keyframe it all the way at the bottom, right at the start, and then go five frames in and reset it. I'm gonna turn off this layer just so we can see what that looks like. And you can see that's a, a little too much motion blur for me at least. So I'm gonna turn it to something like 180. And I'm also gonna easy ease these keyframes or Bezier them in Premiere. I like doing it this way. That way you don't have to add the directional blur yourself. You don't have to figure out what the blur is actually gonna look like. Cause whatever you do, if you drag the shutter angle up more, it's going to make it more blurry. And then if you drag it down, it's gonna be less blurry. So just find something that you like. Like I said, I was at 180. I think I'm just gonna keep it that like that for at least the tutorial. And then once you get to this frame right here, the fifth frame, the background will come in and then you can go to scale and then you're going to click uniform scale and uncheck that. And then you can just affect just the height or the width. So you can do it either way. You can have the height go to zero and have it come up this way, or you can have the width come in like that. I'm going to have the width come in. So keyframe to zero and then go to the end, 
make sure you're selected on that and then reset it. And then that's what it looks like. And then I'm just gonna do Bezier. We're gonna actually add some directional blur to this one, directional blur, and drag that onto this layer. And then I just like going like halfway through so you can see what you're doing. And then if you start dragging, you see that it's vertically. So then you wanna go ahead and just type in 90. That way it changes it to horizontal. And you don't have to do anything too crazy. Just uh, whatever you think looks good. And then I like to keyframe it to kind of chill out towards the end. You don't have to go all the way to zero, but you can if you want. And then just bezier that. And I think I wanna make the blur at the beginning a lot more noticeable. So we'll see what that looks like. And I think that effect right there is pretty cool. If you wanted to do something like Wilco, you can just basically add any frames that you want and have it hold. So I think he had it held for like three frames. You can go one, two, three from the end and then drag it just three frames longer. And then it should uh, have the hold. And you can have it held as long as you want or if you want it to happen right away, you can even take away some frames. You just gotta push it in more. And if you push it in one more frame or something, you just gotta tweak it a little bit, go frame by frame and see where it starts coming up. Like right there, it would, as soon as he stops moving, it instantly has the background there. So that's like a more fluid effect. Uh, basically just play around with whatever you like. I think this was a really cool and simple transition. It's almost like a Ryan Lynch style transition as well. Um, I know he likes those freeze frame transitions with like smooth movement in his style. That's pretty much it for this effect. If you want to learn some other effects done in that video when it finally comes out, let me know. Uh, I know a lot of people wanted some Ryan Lynch style tutorials. So let me know in the comments if you also want that. Because he has a really clean style and it's just like a lot of basic freeze frames, but he knows how to do them properly. And if you don't do them like exactly how they're intended, then it kind of looks a little weird. So let me know. Uh, appreciate everyone that made it all the way to the end. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitch. I'll be uploading probably Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I think is going to be my schedule for a little bit. I have a bunch of cool videos planned for the end of January. I'm going out to LA with a few friends and we're going to make a bunch of different style content, not just tutorials, some entertainment stuff, some behind the scenes stuff, just a bunch of different uh, styles of content. So definitely stay tuned for that. If you're not subscribed already, be sure to do that because most of the people that watch me are actually are not subscribed. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for the video. Peace.